Hey, peace. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing? Hopefully, y'all are chilling right now. But if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. Now, today we're going to be talking about the N100 from OnePlus, the, N1, the Nord N100. Um, it's a long name, OnePlus Nord N100. But this device I had in my possession for the last four months, I've been using it. I could recommend this to pretty much anyone, your stepsister, your, 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 your grandmother, your, 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 uh, somebody who's in school, somebody who's a grandparent, things like that. This phone pretty much fits the bill for a lot of people. Um, now, does a phone need 90 hertz refresh rate right in 2021? To be completely honest, it doesn't. Does it need 90 hertz? No, but this one has it. This one has the 190 re re hertz refresh rate. <laughs> Say that quick. Um, but it has that 90 hertz refresh rate. Um, I'm using the Poetic case on here, the Revolution series. It has a really nice kickstand to it. So. But what I like about the phone is when it's bare and it doesn't have anything on it. I'm going to take off the case on here, but I've been using this for the last four months. Really do enjoy this phone. I kind of just want to show you one of my favorite parts about it. Um, and it's the back of here. This, this, this device has that matte finish. Um, yeah, I'm crazy about the back of this phone. It's really nice to the touch. It has a, a really good smooth feel in your hand. It's silky smooth. It's a, it's like a, a, I would say this is like a charcoal gray, like a charcoal gray, coal, dark coal anthracite gray color, but it's got a really good um, overall, uh, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, it's got a, a good feel to it in the hand. It feels really good to the touch. Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. Um, the matte finish is just really nice. Um, it does creak, it does creak a little bit with the plastic, you know, build, but um, solid button placement. We got the power button right over here. They don't rock or anything in the phone. And we do got a um, volume rocker right on the other side, which doesn't rock either. We, we have a, a rear facing fingerprint sensor and uh, facial recognition on this one as well. Let me see if I could get that to work. Yeah, that works. 100% of the time. So another thing I like is that they have, when you go into wallpapers and you go into shot on one plus, it's going to give you all these wallpapers, um, hundreds of them, thousands of them from the wall, from the one plus community. And it seems like they're updated a lot. I'm going to add this cat one to it. This was taken in China. Somebody with the one plus Nord no, the one, somebody with the seven pro took this. So somebody with the, I'm gonna add that to my wallpaper now and hit save, but you're, you're getting hundreds, thousands of wallpapers from the OnePlus community. It's a large community of people who use OnePlus from their flagships to their mid-ranges to their, even the budget series. So let's talk about this device, get into it in a little bit more detail in and out, talk about the camera set on the back, what we're getting with that as well. We're gonna talk about all the premium features of this guy. So. One of the things that really stands out for me on this guy is the battery life. It's been, I've been on this, this is this day two on the battery. Um, now I'm at, right now I'm at 54% day two, which is kind of crazy. It says that I have been using this device for, um, I have 11 hours left and I've been using it. How long have I been using it? It says right here that one out, five, well, one day and five hours is what I've been using it for. And it says I have one more day and 11 hours, which is kind of crazy. So you get about two days with this guy. Um, really nice interface and really nice software on this thing. It flows smooth as butter. Um, so it's got um, a really nice performance to it. I really just want to stress that, that the performance on here is a lot better than um, the, 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 I don't want to call out names or anything, but this, this device is better than phones that are more priced above it. For instance, um, I'm not going to call out names just cause I don't want to like mess anyone's, um, mess with anyone's feelings if they, if they have that phone. But 
when it comes to the battery life on this guy, it's pretty crazy. Now, as far as the, the, the software on here, it's, it's really nice. It's like stock Android, but it's smooth. Like when you go to the most recent, you get these little animations at the bottom that lets you scroll across the screen with, and then you could just click the icon from the bottom. I, I, I think that's something that all phones should do. I don't know if that, if I, if I seen that just on this one, but this is on that oxygen, um, um, OS, which is kind of, which is smooth as butter. Even on their budget devices, they manage to make it just feel really snappy. So I really like the speed of oxygen OS on this device. It has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which lasts two days. Facial recognition, like I said before, eight megapixel on the front, which takes good photos. Um, now it does have a gallery app which is something that i really do like because a lot of phones don't have the gallery app but this phone takes pretty good portrait shots um everything every single shot i was taking was was pretty good now it it, it did suffer some um glare issue on some of the photos but um i'll show you guys what those look like right now but when i when i was out that i was outdoors and i was in nature and this phone was taking some really beautiful sunsets close range and zooming in and zooming out it just took some phenomenal photos zooming in and out so the still pictures on this phone are i would say these are excellent for stills you can definitely take a ton of stills now the one thing that this phone does suffer with is electronic image stabilization i think that's barren from the phone so it doesn't have that so just keep that in mind it's going to be a bit bouncy when you're when you're walking with the phone um, they don't have a night mode for the camera, so that kind of sucks. And they don't have any other features like slow motion mode and things like that. But it does have that portrait mode, which is really nice. And it does have that macro camera, which is pretty cool to play around with. Um, you get the two megapixel macro camera and the two megapixel for portrait. So both of those cameras are usable. I did use the macro camera and it wasn't completely useless. It did come in handy when I wanted to get up really close, like two centimeters away and snap a shot of um, something. So not completely use this macro camera on here which is pretty cool but the device is running with the snapdragon 460 coupled with um uh it has it has let me go into about phone i believe this has four gigabytes of ram off the top of my head that's what i can remember yeah and it does also have 64 gigabytes of internal storage with this guy so it's coupled with the 460 processing chip um and it does a really good job when it comes to you know gaming it's going to be medium graphics um, on HD. So it's not going to be like, you're not going to be able to play high graphics or anything like that on this device. It's also got a 720 panel times 1440. So it's a HD plus display. So in my opinion, the uh, 720 display on this guy is unnoticeable. I, I, I always forget that it's a 720 display. It looks like a, a 1080 panel to me. And um, like I said, they gave it a, they gave it a really good uh, back um, cover on here. So I like to use this phone without a case, and it's fingerprint retarded, and and it doesn't scratch either. So I definitely like that. You, it won't leave marks when you're using it. In a, um, when you if you if you have greasy hands or sweaty hands like me, I tend to leave a lot of fingerprints on phones because I have sweaty hands. But this thing is good for. Um, a lot of different things it doesn't have the um, NFC feature on here. So just keep that in mind, but we do get hotspot screen recorder um, You know Zen mode reading mode for when your eyes are looking um, at the screen for a long time uh, Nearby share screen um, cast so you can watch your phone on, on your smart TV it pairs up with the smart TV as well um, So just a lot of features right at the tip of my hands Wi-Fi calling as well um, so this phone has a lot of sick things inside of it. It also does have um, utilities inside of here. So we get game space, quick replies, um, pocket mode, stuff like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They have a space in here where you could keep all your, your secret um, stuff that you're not trying to let out to the world or people that are around you. I'm not sure why you would do that, but they got a space for that, a private space, a password protected for that as well. So. After four months of using this device, I find it really good for taking photos and, um, you know, videos, it's okay. It's going to be shaky, but the front facing camera does better than the rear. As far as the shakiness, when I was walking with the front facing camera, I didn't notice it as much shaking, but 
what I gotta say is the performance on here with the um, Oxygen OS is smooth as butter. There's no lags, hiccups, or complaints when you're using the software on this. It's really smooth, flows really nicely. It has a nice feel in the hand. I can't stress that enough. And it has dual speakers, so I forgot to mention that as well. But I'm gonna give you a quick audio sample of the dual speakers on this guy, cause um, if I'm a, I'm a person that likes audio, I really love that. So just try check out this quick sample. I'm gonna put it all the way up to full loudness. So they're equally punchy, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the bottom one is, is equally as punchy as the top one. We do get a microphone at the top for noise cancellation, a SIM slot for expanding your storage as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So I only use one SIM in there. I think it has dual SIM capabilities, but I don't, I've, I've never put two SIMs in one phone. I just carry two phones. So um, I think that's pretty cool, but you do get a headphone jack on this guy. And the frame of this device is plastic, so it might scratch easy on that part. But Gorilla Glass on the front, like I said before, but just overall really solid device for 130 bucks. I feel like this is the guy, the one to go with um, if you're looking for a phone that's under 150 But um, One thing I gotta let you know is that it doesn't have in, um, updates to Android 11 yet, so hopefully we'll, we will be getting that um, like Samsung did with all of their budget phones like they got but hopefully that's coming in real soon but i definitely like using this device all day with that 13 megapixel camera um for taking shots and um facial recognition for good security it's not the most um, secure in the world but the fingerprint sensor is 100 percent accurate and i, I kind of like it there on the back every single time it's it's it, it snaps it gives you a nice vibration when it opens which is pretty cool so i like the haptics on this phone as well um typing on this phone is pretty cool but this device does give you the option to customize the icons uh customize everything on this phone um it has quick gestures uh slide down with one finger hidden space just a, a load of features that you could probably uh, you know what i'm saying like play with to your heart's content but um i definitely like using this thing like i said before after four months i gotta say this guy right here might be you know like if the the budget budget phone of the year like the cheapest one that you can get um because of the performance um on the screen there's no glitches or stutters or hiccups or when you open the when you press a button there's no wait time is what i'm trying to say um a lot of phones that i've been using um are, are zippy but i also noticed that some of the phones i've been using when you click something there's like two seconds of wait time this one doesn't have that so i definitely think this is pretty cool um, for people who don't who have less patience for that but hopefully you guys did find this video helpful in any way possible this is my four month review of the oneplus nord n100 but i'm gonna see you guys in the comment section down below so make sure you guys leave a comment and um, let me know what you think about the N100. How many, how long have you had your N100? Where are you from? That would be pretty cool. I would like to know, um, you know what I'm saying, how long you've had it, but um, let's chat in the comment section. I'm gonna see you guys down there. I'm also gonna get right back with you on the next video, so make sure you stay locked in for more videos just like this, but I'm gonna get back with you real quick, but um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Later, group, peace.